functions are lots of code within the buffer of particular task. Right, so if I choose to write a program like this, and for the syntax, then I say, let's say, int main void. This at, at intervals, I might be calling attention to confirm that I'm seeing the call. Do a respond to the int. Um, a and B, and then I say, um, and say A equals to comma B equals five and in of man equals B equals B I see and F um, and the E and address it to money and then I Return zero. It's a very with this bit like this and probably make it smaller. I want somebody from God now to tell me what this code does. Any for go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. It adds an integer A and B. Okay, someone okay, else someone else should tell me, tell me uh, uh, what it what we need to create. Yes. What exactly what is uh, hello. The, yeah. the produce some, some of the products. I mean, some of the numbers of those integers A and B. Exactly what? So, exactly what? Okay. Okay. If you produce this one, the addition which will give us seven. If you produce yeah. seven. Right. Thank you. Now, this guy here. This guy here. Alongside this guy is called variable, right? Variable. And let me check a little bit more. Well, this and then this process here. Uh, what is, and then there's a process here as well. Mm -hmm. And there's a process here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got a name out size. This guy alongside A and B are called variables. Okay, so we have this process here is called declaration declaration of variable. 
guy is called okay I think you should help me now what would that please be called the percentage D but my help out percentage D that's a placeholder right Placeholder, not exactly. I think that's the data type, right? Data type, not really. Okay. Specifier. Puma specifier. Thank you. So this is the format specifier. Name is very literal, it's very simple. It specifies the format in which uh, particular uh, the, 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 the value or the content of the variable be printed. Right? And I also agree with the data type. So what what should I label here now? What should be the label here? I'll mute and talk to me. What should be the label here? What's return type? Return type. Do you agree with that? Yes. <laughs> Are you want to agree with that? Agree with me. <laughs> because if I want your mate to agree with you or disagree. Do you agree that this is return type? Yes. No. Yeah. So much? No. Yeah. Let me have a yeah, <laughs> Okay, key. Who disagree? Who disagrees? It's not it meant. I agree. I agree. Okay, who disagrees here, please? Okay. Now, one thing that makes you um, a software engineer, one skill you need rather than a software engineer is the ability to communicate. To communicate and you you can't communicate if you call something what you feel it is or you think it is you need to be able to tell what it is this is not return type this has nothing to do with type this is what i value as a return value so what what is the most appropriate label to give this point now talk to me Yeah, Your answer is up. Yeah, answer is up. So, I so, want so, to provide. provide. What? What did you say? Um, I'm, I'm, uh, I actually need the answer from court, my members, not. Um, I don't use output command. Output command. Output command. Output command. Please, I need some more name. But I want to have multiple, multiple. Label here. Output command. Yes, I, I, I have. Of course, it's obvious that uh, several things will make sense here. So, another one, please. Print statement. Print statement. Beautiful. Will you edit or not? Print statement. Okay, another one again. This 
Brit statement. You've done that before. Okay, it has, it has been mentioned, sorry. Yeah. Print function. Print, print, print function. Ooh. Hmm. Print function. That's, that's great. Now, all this is your calling. I don't see any one of this wrong. But actually, what I had in mind to draw attention to is that this is a function call. Right, you are calling a function here. And the name of that function is print. Right. Print F right there. And then print F, I, I told you in general class, it means print formatted string. Print formatted string. And okay, I may go ahead and demonstrate that when I my terminal. Let's continue. Now I want you to name one of the things here about the process. What happened there? You know, all the what happened there? What will you what will you call this process that happened there in this particular line? Okay, you assigned uh, values to the variable. Assigning values to the variable, that's correct. But what's what's the name of what's what's the this initializing you are initializing value initialize in, initialization initialization is the one at the top, right? No. One says oh, initialization uh, is the one at the top. How do you declaration? Declaration. Declaration. I'm making progress. So you see that, you know, why is it declaration? Because at this point, you're telling the compiler a, a variable exists by the name of A. Right? Let me now amplify this guy uh, in my, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what line that is now. That call it my this line one, line two, line okay. It's, this wouldn't have been line one. That should be header five up there. Uh, but I'm talking about uh, this particular line here. I want to amplify one of these things. All right. Uh, so right there we have in A. What is each of what 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 uh what is yeah what is each of these things doing? What is each of these things doing? Now take note and don't forget. All right, so this guy, this particular one, this is where the word type will come in. This is where you could be appropriately used. I wish I had a light pen, so I read very well. I read fast in my handwriting. I need to tell you this. So I thought I'm able to communicate. I meant to write data. So this is a data type. It's data type. I want to, I want to mention a name now. Uh, that, we, that may never talk if they are not called, who would that be? I don't know who that is anyway, but I'll just mention it as random. Uh, Gloria or Go Gloria. What would you call this one? Is the name for this guy? What's the name for this one? This A. Uh, Go Gloria, now, me talk to us, please. Um, good evening. Good evening. Yes, sorry. May I hear your question again? Yeah, what, this we've said this guy is called this guy integer is yeah. that type, right? So what is this A? It's the character. The character. Yes. It's the car. Oh, let me, it's not easy to write to. Who are this car? The question is who I believe in her. 
Um, can I can I say some argument? Who is that? Who is that? Is Sika right? Is that um, magic? Magic. Oh, go ahead. Yes, I'm here. Let's say my magic. I'm name sounds. Are you sure? It's it's a variable. Are you the magic? <laughs> Magic was going to say something. Who said? Someone said that I said some arguments. Something, something. No, I think I, I want to say something. Okay. Yeah, the A there um, is actually a variable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's right. The A is a variable, just like this guy. Topman is a variable. A is a variable. B is a variable. Now uh, this is uh, oh thank you. <laughs> uh, this is it can be a character actually, but not in this case. It can be a character, but not here. If you had uh, in it's let's say we, we wanted a, a, a data type the usual car you know c a h a r when we say car we are we are we are not calling that thing that follows a variable that could hold characters this is a variable but what type of variable it, is it oh, oh, oh. yeah what type of variable is it it's 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 the type of variable is determined by the keyword that precedes it so integer the integer shows that this variable can only hold a type of value and it's an integer we're talking about integer simply put we're talking about number a, a what was what's the, what's that word now a, a positive factor. We're talking about a number that does not have decimals. You know, it does not have any splits. So one is an integer, two is an integer. Whole whole number, whole number. Whole number. Okay, whole number. Thank you. We're talking about whole number. A particular number it does not have uh, over anything. It does not have dots, anything or points, anything. So that makes that's an integer. Right, three uh, main data type you you need to know are integer, um, floats, and characters. Of course, you may know more as you make progress. But I think these are the basic. Other ones, rally around. Other ones are built from these ones, I believe, because they have a resemblance in a way. So the the the, the floats. The character and the integers, they are called data type. I was gonna answer that person's question, that's actually the question. <laughs> data type. Thank you. <laughs> you have them here. So these are data types. Whereas the function, this guy here is a function. Is our main function. That's the unique thing about it. This guy here called Prince F is a function. I demonstrated go, go through that video. Yeah. I demonstrated how that I could I could give this guy another name. Its behavior has been defined somewhere in the system library. So we we'll call it it performs its behavior. What's the difference between Prince F and put? Uh, put car, uh, put chap. I think I spent it in the other video. Did I? Is I be able to confirm? Uh, I'm not really sure. I can't really remember. Okay, yeah, I'll just go ahead and do that because this, I don't want to start repeating something I've explained in a video. Yeah. Okay. Because um, it was not a reason why I went and tried to make those videos. Okay. This point F right now, I could do, I could do. Uh, uh, what was that is now wonders 
Would it okay? I can't take it alone. Let us copy it then. Copy it. Yeah. This is just by the way, we enter the main. Uh, um, of discussion. My board is getting around. I hope I'm not confusing anybody. Uh, this split F now, I could come inside and say something like A um, plus B equals positive D. Uh, it will print A plus B. See, remember that the way you declare a string when you declare a string, put that, um, put this stuff in, a, in an open space and give examples. Give examples. I uh, put two cars. One should put Canada. One should be a string, an array of string uh, of characters. No. Sorry, I'll show them something. Okay. So this is a string. I put it inside the double quotes. Look at it. Print F, open parenthesis, as a double quote. And then at the end, before a comma, as a double quote, everything in between the um, double quotes is a string. So here they are character, the A is a character, the space is a character, the plus is a character. So the space as well, the B is space, the equal to the space. But this guy here, the format specifier is telling us that there is a, a variable that will follow. Go there and print the content of this variable in this format. If I give you a format that is not possible with the content or value of this variable, it will drop an error. The compiler will drop an error. Or it may compile and not work well. So the command is used to separate the string from the address you are giving it to, we are giving it, we are saying the passage D, what you are going to print, go and look for it inside top man. Look for it inside a variable called top man. Simple mathematics tells you that a variable is, okay, let's not go there. Some people are not, so you don't like it when we come at mathematics, but of course you will do some arithmetics as you move on. I don't know whether you've met uh, Fibonacci, is it Fibonacci or something I could see? Fibonacci. I don't know I've met that task uh, already. Uh, okay, not to scan of you. Whatever it is, you can do it. Just have that in mind. Bro, no, I'm waiting for you. Give a uh -huh, thank you. Thank you. Now look at character. And five is an integer, example of an integer. So don't be them like this, mind you. Five. If I decline five, you 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 okay. You can be declared like this. You can be declared like this. Apart from the eg, but these are three integers here. One, two, and three. Five here is an integer. One thousand is an integer. Two, three, four, five is an integer. Two point five is a float. Two point three four five is a float. A is a character. F is a character. But then when the character has joined together, to come on, it becomes a string. Please declare this. Um, uh, um, uh, okay, don't worry. My body is getting ready now. And that's for, I think that's for array. We do that when we talk about arrays. But just know that this is a string. So this is not to show you, show you an example of how to declare them. No, but to show you what they really look like. So imagine if we had said uh, something like, uh, come on, print hello, print f, hello. This is something as, um, of course, we will need this variable here again. If you give something f, you can print it. Whereas, put your Prints a character per time. It prints only one character. The only way you can get it to print a string is to help it to make it look to that string and print each individual character one after the other. 
at it and begin to move into our mental plate for tonight. So the print F is a function that was called inside the main function. The main is a function, but the int is a data type. Car is a data type. Uh, float is a data type. Now, for a function, a function takes the basic syntax. You can see it here. This thing I wrote here is the basic syntax of a function. This is what a function uh, looks like. It has the return data type. It has a function name and then parentheses. In parentheses, the parameters or the arguments. Okay, if that's a big drama, uh, let me see. I can break it down. Um, it tells us what type of data will be returned. That shouldn't be a big deal. Here, A. We've seen that it's of the type int. A is a variable that's supposed to hold an integer. So by int being a here, we already know that whatever should be stored in A must be an integer. So the return type here tells us that whatever must be whatever will be returned must be an integer. Look at it. If we had car here, then we cannot return zero. Zero is not, it's not going to work. If you had uh, uh, float here as an integer, uh, as a return value, match this to look at it. This is the basic structure of a function. This is the syntax of a function. Right? So if, if you have the, the return data for us here now is int, the function name is main, and the parameter, we don't have anyone. That's why we wrote void. Of course, if you just write an open parenthesis and close it again, it's okay. But Betty wouldn't let you do that. Betty will, uh, will insist that you state that it's void. Right? I think I'm going too deep in functions. Let's put to the topic of the day. But the person that asked that question, do you now understand the difference between function and data type? And what else? Uh, okay, code library. I won't go to that. This put. And you know, do you know understand the relation between function and data type? What is happening to me, Dr. Ross? Who asked the question, Seth? Somewhere at the end. There was an income okay, missing by you. Mr. Precious, okay, from one Precious. I don't know. Okay, Mr. Precious, are you here or not? I'm not sure he's still here. Okay, there's one. <laughs> Precious to you, Paul. Paul, Abby, just move on, just move on. Is it Precious or Sad? Or Sad? What does the format conspire do? What does the format conspire do? Yeah, I'll come to that. I think it was, uh, I think he has answered. Yes, yes. And that was uh, Abdul Fatai. It was Abdul Fatai. Okay. Don't want to zoom my screen. Is my screen small? Please look out for the income messages and let me know. Okay. Yes, my screen is okay. The screen is okay. This is is this new this thing that we see? I thought it's not enough. Please look at my screen again. Meet your mind. Meet your mind. Who has that mic that is find the person that meets the person? And so the person is trying to talk to us. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Abdul Fatai. Abdul Fatai was the one that asked that question and um, I saw a yes posted by him. So I only believe that that means that he's, he's okay. Um, so all right, I, I have a question. Uh, what, someone asked the question now, right? No. Yes, I want to ask a question. Uh, please remind me the question that was asked before I ask. Uh, what was the question that was asked? I'm not sure if anyone asked the question. Oh, yeah, it happened in my mind. Okay, go ahead. I want to ask. Ask. Yeah. Okay, so I want to ask this uh, main, which is a function name, can it change apart from using main? Can it change? Okay, I see that main is unique. Men is men, nothing takes the place of men. 
right? Okay. So, men, you, you okay. may have defined functions in different places. The place where you bring all those functions to work together to affect your program, the place where you call them in is men. Is men. Okay. I just. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I, it is itself it as men. I mean, now that means this this spelling can still change to another word, but still serve the same purpose. Is uh, it possible that way? Um, wow, I like to be practical with that. Now, you don't, don't want to be serving, you can't, no, 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 it can't be the same purpose. Okay. When you define a function, you're adding, you're defining to do a particular thing, a particular thing. So in your main program, you call that function has been defined to do what you ask it to do. So if I change the name of this thing to something else, this thing will still happen. But then it is not recognized as the main function. It's like um what illustration should I use? It's like uh Mm. Okay, uh, now this is Kutra PLD, and you've had several kind of PLDs, you've been to several PLDs, and you, you may have several things that um, um, inspire you, that uh, make you learn. Now, assuming LS used to have lectures, although they're beginning to have something like that, one hour now, I don't know that it started with you. Uh, before it used to be enemy, ask, ask uh, me anything, but now they used to teach. Teach and learn together, life coding sections. Okay, okay. So, is Code Tribe and LS learning the same thing? It couldn't be. Because they are not the, they are not the main reason okay, they could give you, if they give you, if I give you an assignment now, you want to do it. Only those who want to go far want to do it. You know, but if LAS gives you a project now, you don't have a choice. You have to do it. So we are not the same, the same. We, are, we, we, are, we both of us, Contrab is trying to build you, LS is trying to build you, but we are not the same. We are the main people. So I could ask her, I give this thing another name, and it will do this thing. That okay. I to do. But then okay. you, as the tradition goes, you don't, you, you as a main program, then you not get us and say, do this inside here. So you, you define the person say this is your work function. Your own is to fit the new line. Your own is to add numbers. Your own is to do this. Your own is to do that. Call them in a month fashion and say, come and do that thing you have to do. You can do it. That's okay. your program. Okay, that's cool, right? So make progress. I'm leaving this particular topic. I'm leaving. Is that what I did from this board? Take another bit in one. Ask your question. Um, log me out of the call. I don't know if it's possible. You are not on the call? The network logged me out, oh, so I don't... Yes, if it's possible to summarize, please. Well, at what point, what, what, uh, what do you have now? At what point were you logged out? Okay. I was logged out at um, where you wrote uh, data types with uh, the green pen. Okay, I understand the data types. I think from there you could continue with uh, whatever you said in my absence, please. Okay, you want to you want to see the video? Sorry, you you understand a lot to understand the rest of tonight's lesson. So, okay, we just go ahead. Okay, I'll ask one more question before I transit to the next stage. What is this thing doing here called nine? This semicolon, what is it doing here? You know, the semicolon here has the, the semicolon here has the same function as the one here. In fact, all of them have the same function. You see. What are they doing there? Uh, I think it terminates the the first uh well uh, the first declaration it's used to terminate, yeah. To signify the end point of that whatsoever we are declaring. It's, I think it executes the command, the command line, execute it, execute it. Execute. That's like a full stop. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, let's I see. I like being particular with that. Um, uh, um, yeah. Okay. I thought used to have a beautiful What what please mute yourself if you're not please mute yourself if you're not talking. Okay. If you're trying to talk to us, please put an income message, send an income message because your the feedback you're getting is um yeah. Please just saying. just send in an income message and your uh, your question will be treated. Not to waste too much of our time. So I'm just going to lock everybody from talking now. Please. Oh, I would need I would need to talk. Oh. <laughs> hey, need to talk. Hey, I, it's the time for questions. So that you won't be confused. You won't be getting distracted most of the time. Man. Or okay. probably I'll just leave it. Don't worry, I'll just leave it. Anything you say, boss. <laughs> where am I? Where am I? Where am I? What is here? What is here? Uh, okay. Um, you have been told to zoom your screen a little bit. Is with me? I'm struggling to even see what you're doing. Zooming. All right. Is it better? Um, it's better. So one for coordination should confirm. Is it better like this? Probably well, should just yeah, yeah, it's okay. Thank you. All right. Um, I'm talking about loops. All right. I have this um repo. Online, we have to push our codes that we write pages like this. So I'm in that repo now. You, I hope to give you the link. Mr. Bell, you can post the link so you can. Uh, you can go there and get the links. You don't, you don't need to be bothering yourself screenshotting doing this. You can get there, go there and get it. This is on your terminal to do some tests. You can even be doing it alongside me now. So I'm working. Uh, so you, you got that because I want to believe that you're generating materials and you're a lot of us are with our devices ready to practice, ready to, ready to learn practically. Okay, so I wanted to do something because you said, because of the way you um the way you uh check cash make this like this like that uh, what are learning we're learning loops right All right. I want to write the program. Mm, let me call this one. Okay, I'd like to do something. Sorry. I'd like to add, when I name it like this, I'd like to mm. add the dates. So today is 15th of September. Okay. I want to create a file. It's my first file. So as an NS child, let me call it zero. Play with. Okay, play with. Semicolon zero semicolon. So, what do you see? <laughs> what that actually does practically. Uh, so, we upload this to the end. Oh, I should have money to see five. Excuse me. OK, 
Okay. All right, so int main void comments int someone said it's it's um it ends his statement. I don't know whether I'm correct. And another person said is um, it executes the code. Another person said um, it's like a full stop. Okay, it's executing the code is um is wrong actually it's wrong let's see something what will happen if i come here and say int and say a i come here okay let's see come here and say int i put plenty of white spaces here and say b now come here and say uh, a equals Three, right? Comma. It's supposed to be semicolon there too. <laughs> and the B equals um, six. Guys, what will happen here? Talk while I'm typing. What will happen here? Not nothing will happen. Is it yours? Betty, <laughs> Betty, Betty. No, leave Betty, leave Betty. <laughs> Betty is asleep now. Because uh okay. Okay. And you let me analyze this one after the other. Mm. Like this things now. We don't have uh, the variable name. So it will not generate anything there. Okay. Like this one now, we don't have the the data type in this a um, semicolon, so if nothing will happen. Same thing with this int, then the other b as well. Why this one? We, we initialize box with a wrong comma, with a wrong uh, what's the call? I call it now, identification or something like that. Okay. So I don't think something will happen here. All right. Uh, does anyone want to disagree with him? No. Does everyone agree that nothing will happen? Something will definitely happen. Something will happen, but yeah. something not not we expect. Hold on. Now, if this thing, if this thing was to work, if it was going to work, let me see. Let me make this thing Brenda. If if assuming it was the correct program I wrote, what would have been the result? The result would be. No, nine, nine, nine. 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 Mm. Okay. A is what's it the D B is what's it the D and okay, let me put a line here. Let me line character here and say plus B is this. So the first positive B will go to A, the next to B. All right. As I mean, I was writing a real program that's uh, that's working well. I hope everything everything the F statement makes sense. Is there anyone here that uh, anything in this point F? It does not make sense to. Okay, I assume everyone. There is a problem. There is a problem. Yeah. A is equal to three. You are using full stop there. It's not meant to be. Sorry, you are using comma. It's not meant to be comma. It's meant to be semicolon. So it will not work now, is it not? I doubt okay, it. Let's see. Right, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Pressure. So GCC call and join again. GCC base. Mm. On the cloud. Oh, 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 oh. 
Sorry about that. That's not what you. Uh, that's not a prediction. No, your prediction has not happened yet. So that's not a prediction. That's, I, I use the variable not declared here. This sum was not declared. So the compiler is not even telling that thing you're talking. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to put it in here. It should work. It should work. <laughs> I had to tell you, sir. I was actually looking for someone to disagree. Okay, you, okay. Was that watching some guys that do not work? Yes. Okay. You're the only one that is talking like that. Though. So this is our program now. It should be A dot out, right? Let me show you. It's A dot out. So I run. A is three. B is six, A plus B is nine. Because I don't have any new line character at the end. Mm -hmm. That was why. So if I added the uh, new line character somewhere here, you can see how color the program is. So if your if the reason you say it's not work is because of the int sum, then you're fine. But if the reason you are saying it's not work is because of the team, if the int was another line, it was another line, then uh, you need to be <laughs> you just got enlightened. Somebody's like that. Somebody's like I like that laughter. <laughs> so let's run it again. Okay. This time I want to save the output in semicolon. Right? So I have them here, but I don't want to get it out again. That is, look at it again. I have semicolon now, so let me run semicolon. A is three, B is six, A plus B is nine. Guys, with all the scatter scatter that I did here, why is this thing still working? Why is this guy still working? This code is reduced line by line, left to right. By now, I believe most of us know, if not all of us. The C compiler ignores every white space, white space. Remove the white, they mean space. It ignores spaces. Who dives, use enter, use enter to put the space, or use a tab, or use space. It is better that we not ignore space. That will, that will tell you, you must put space here, you must not do it here, you must remove it from here. It's better that, that does that one. Right. Okay. So, as far as this guy is concerned, as far as the compiler is concerned, this statement is not, this statement ended here. Whether you put them on the same line or not. That's why it ended. As far as this guy is concerned, nothing concerned and concerned is, you know, <laughs> I don't mean, I mean, I'm a really Nigerian man, so. Pigeon, <laughs> Pigeon will go me when I want to express certain things. <laughs> you know. Until he gets to that point where he sees semicolon, you say, okay, he will not join the statement together. Say, so, is this what you mean? Here. The same way it is possible to have these two things on both on one line where you have a equals three. I think I had something like that in the demo I gave earlier on. Where is it? Look at this line now. Where we have a, a equals two, comma b equals five. As long as it's possible to have that in on one line, it doesn't concern it. It doesn't matter to it that you gave it you made it to made it to be two lines. It's looking for the semicolon. Anywhere the semicolon ends. Anyway, this is a semicolon. You say, okay, this is the complete statement. It takes this whole thing as a complete statement. It takes this one as another statement. So this is statement one. This, let me, sorry, let me set my line number so I could make reference with all of you following me. So uh, line five and line six is one statement, it's a single statement to it. Line seven is a single, another statement. Line nine, line 10 is a single statement to it. So that's the function of that thing here. You see it here. It's showing that okay. Somebody said it like full stop. That was so beautiful. And that's an integer. That's 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 a variable a. This statement here, I'm reading it now. It says there's a variable a, and that variable can only contain a value that is an integer. Full stop. All right, any questions? I wonder, I will assume there's no, there's no questions. Someone, 
trying to talk. Who is breathing like that? Exactly. Okay, go ahead. Why is it that the A equals three even to the semicolon there by still weight? Can you repeat why it's 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 weight? Okay. I thought just okay, that means I need to see it another way. Can someone help me explain it? Maybe in a very layman language, I'm not gonna say a layman. I'm trying to say that there's a way. I'm a layman. Yeah, I'm a layman. No, no, no. Please put it in a layman language. <laughs> Thank you. Your, from your explanation, from what I got, why it worked was because compiler still understand the fact that a equals three comma with b equals um, six is a one line statement, irrespective of you putting it in two different uh, putting it on two different lines. So with the semicolon at the back of the B equals six, it still reads it as a one line, just as you showed it on the whiteboard when you did it at first. That's a line. Line nine and ten is seen as just line nine for the compiler. Okay. Okay, now that means that when I take uh when I take off the semicolon at the back of A on line six. And leave the one at the back of B on line seven. It will still work. Okay. Uh, if you are asking that question, it means uh, he didn't. She didn't get it. How else would I put it? Now look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I am trying to do the one you know now. The one you know, the usual one you've know, always known, is that there is no such thing as this. It has to be here. And you know that uh, there should be such space here. It has to be here. So you are the one with your human brain and your understanding that is thinking it has to be like this before it will work. You are the one that was just going to say, okay, this is one line, this is another line, this is another line. But the way you see is not the way the compiler sees. What the compiler we call one line is. The compiler will not uh, judge any line to be a single line until it gets to this character here called this semicolon. But it goes until it gets to that punctuation, it does not see that it does not see that it, the line is not complete to it, to, to it. The statement is not complete. So and the line of variable A is of type integer. That means it can only hold a value that is an integer. Then this is it. This is what I'm saying, right? So, if, if for example, it's possible to okay, let me not go there. Let me not go there. Let me not go there. Uh, have I, is it is it clear now? Yes, it's clear. It's clear. No, it's clear. Okay. No. Uh, I'm not going to spend too much time in this class. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, our videos. You know, our videos. <laughs> Now, how to ask the way you assigned um, values to the variable A and B on in one statement, is it possible to also assign it in different statements? Yes. Like putting yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All the things for you to do. All the things for you to do. Let's be different. 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 So you end the statement. Once you end the statement here, then you want to take this one down. It's for you. You're taking it down for you. Bro, you are taking it down for you. Let me show you. Let me prove that you are, the, you are the reason you're taking it down. It's not for the compiler. The compiler will still know. It's looking for the semicolon. Okay, so let me write a, a function that adds uh, two numbers. We call it add two. Uh, so I want to give it two arguments. Please, we don't any function today. If you don't understand functions, don't worry. You understand one day. Uh, 
that's that. So, uh, all right. Uh, so, I say, okay, I'm not going down now. Still on the same line, I say, just return A and B. That way, let's go with you. I return X plus X plus um, mm. plus Y. That's all. I don't have any discussion with you. Just return the simple. You think this guy will work or not? Because this is the thing I won't want. The usual way, the, the way we know is to do int add to uh, int x comma int y. Yeah, we'll go here. Put the call place. We'll go here. When I put return, um, what's that? Return uh, x plus y. Close the parentheses. Put semicolon here. Yeah. Okay, I didn't put semicolon. But of course, trouble. Yeah, semicolon. Put semicolon here, yeah. and then you go down and now close with your curly brace. Or you do int add to and say int x int y and then we'll come here we'll open a color base we can we'll declare another int here an integer and then i'm gonna be here of type integer called sum and then we need to write it as a sum equals x plus y and then we'll come here and say um return value we sum so return sum and it's less than sum return it to us and then you, you see that um i just wrote something what i have in only line three this is something i have from line five to line eight and it's something i have from line eleven to line seven to line eighteen it's not beautiful knowing that you could you could use one line to achieve what you see different lines to achieve. You know, so would this thing really work? Like what if I decide to um, change the name of this one and change the name of this one too? And I'm trying to call them all of them in a fun on in, in a function to see whether it really works. Is that what you want me to do right now? I don't think I want to do that. Be by yourself. Let's go to our topic for today. Wait for tonight. Uh, any more questions I've lost from functions? Hello? Yes. My question. Yes. Uh, based on that, uh, uh, what's it called? That's a uh, call. Function call. Or Function like call, okay. Okay. Uh, so I can see the pattern you use. Does it actually follow a particular pattern? Function call. Or uh, from the practical, from the from the terminal now. Oh. Uh, from the terminal. Okay. Have we deleted it? I have not seen it again. That we use that we, okay. Is that like yeah, twenty nine? Like uh, yeah, twenty nine. Okay. Yeah, it's twenty nine. Right. Does it follow a particular pattern, or we can decide whichever way we want to arrange it as far as we follow maybe percentage D, then um, into a quote, into a quote, then comma, then whatever the 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 this thing, the address we want it to call. So we just put it there. I don't know whether you understand my question. I understand you, I understand you. Now, when we say function call, this is just an example of function call, okay? This is not the only function call. There are very many function call. Okay. Many of which, in fact, you've been writing okay. functions, right? So you can call those your functions yes. in the program. Your function that could then um, check whether it's an alphabet or a function that prints alphabet times 10, you can call them in the program and they will do that thing that they have been programmed to do. Okay. okay, so this is the standard you put within uh, this is separate F works, not other functions. Okay, for print F, you put everything you want to be printed out to the standard output within these two double quotes. 
Okay. You don't need these guys except you state a format specifier. Print F will not print percentage D to your screen. It will not. In fact, if you put only percent, it will not print. The only way to print percent, what to print percentage, is for you to put double percent. And you put it twice. Okay. You want to print percent now. And I do, um, let's say, I have to do percent percent. Let's try that. Okay, I'm not sure. I have some functions here that I'm not using. I'm not using. Let me not. Will it show an error? Is it my first use function that I define? I don't think it should have an error, but I don't want to do that. So this is what you do. For, for, if you now recognize that, okay, you want me to print the uh, percentage, the character, like, like the country, the, the, the symbol percentage. To the, so okay. that, if it was one, it should not print it. Because that one has a rule. So you put everything you want out in within the uh, uh, string. double quote. So you okay. put it as a string. But then, if you want to address, if you want something in a variable, a, the content of a variable to be printed out, then percentage what you want. Percentage S for string, okay. percentage I for integers, percentage D for decimals, and, and what have you, you know, the F mm -hmm. for floats, you know, you could do percentage 0 0.2, that means you float to two decimal places. And then you put the address, you put that variable there, So and the variable must follow the order. This first A is the is the owner is 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 a a one that will deal with this um, first percentage D here. That means the first percentage D will go and look for the content to put inside the first variable. The okay. second one will go for the second variable, and that's it. That's it. Any more okay. question? No. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I'm going to. Um, it's speedy with the loops. I'm going to be very speedy here and then I'm going to need you, need you to work with me and be uh, proactive <clears throat> when I call for a question. I want to ask a question about that. You want to ask, and I make us brainstorm. Do it with me. So we have. Uh, Wow, the volume. Wow, the while Okay, please give me minutes. I'm just going to pause this for a while. Two minutes for this. Uh, Mr. Bell, I'm going to push this so you, you pull it and make it better compliant and then push it back. Is that okay? Okay. No, 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 no. No, no. We don't better here. Better will not even like this thing you're doing here. Don't worry. It's okay like this. Okay like this. <laughs> are we good? Because better will complain for these two lines that we're using here. Better will not allow this to happen. So there's no point pleasing Bessie. In fact, I'm taking off my petty comment. But is sleeping, but is sleeping tonight. So I'll use the traditional double double forward slash. Don't do this to Betty, Betty will not take it. So program to show the work of snake hollow and see. As good I'm pushing this. Uh, um, Semicolon. All right, so I'm going to ask my number. Sorry, I'm going to chime back. I just want to answer to this. Network is done. Awesome. Okay. That's not for now. We'll talk later, eh? God bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
Okay, please, I want to see the eye because uh, plenty of eye customers are here. I know. So let me go and use my, my beloved remarks. Let's do some serious work. Mm -hmm. Mm, what, I was, what was I trying to do? I was trying to demonstrate loop. So let's say for loop. Let's see. Okay. Thomas is a big man. When you call it, it takes another window. Comes up on another window. And accept. Uh, accept. In LS. Accept in your sandbox. Excuse me, please. Give me some few seconds. All right, sorry about that. I did. I did. Okay, I want to write a program. I want to write a, a program that will look okay. Let's take that one that you are given. Now you finish solving it. You've not solved it. Um, it's a good example for you. Maybe I should not use exactly that one. I think I will use, I will use the one we used. We use plus a bureau. Uh, we try to make this some better compliant, and you're going to help me make it better compliant. So I'm going to say, um, um, forgive those white lines. It'll be fine. So I say, um, Standard output. Seven point for this. Seven point for this day. Standard output. I don't know which one is correct. You can correct me, please. I'm wrong. English people. It's not output. It's input. Chair. Note that underscore putcha and putcha does the same thing. Underscore Pucha is LAS mimicking Pucha, and Pucha, and it's illegal for for you to write a function and give it a name of an already existing uh, C function in the standard library. You cannot use a keyword in C to declare a variable. You can't say in else. You're looking for trouble. Look at that. If I say in A. They're not the same color. Let me write the longer words. You see, you see, they're not exactly the same color. If any editor that that, that is uh, that that is colorful you used to give different colors to keywords. So if I write another keyword like if, look at it, the same color with else. If I write for it's a keyword. If I write uh, good, sorry, this is like to put be white because it's not a matter of <laughs> who's laughing. <laughs> If I, nice. if I write uh, the same good, it will take the same color with after. So in that it is not recognized as a variable. So there are colors for keywords. You can't use a keyword to be illegal. That's why LS now put underscore before the only picture. I, mean, I don't know whether it was them or the company computer that did that. But you have put underscore before the picture. So that picture does the same thing with this picture I'm using. Okay, I would have loved to use that one. But uh, I think I'll be spoon-feeding you if I use that one, because you're going to see me write the function and then store it somewhere. And then, but I want you to figure that out by yourself, actually. <laughs> OK. So here we go. I want to print, OK, int main void. I want to print in. I want to print out lots of other. So I declare uh, a string here. I choose to use this type because it will help us. Uh, it will help us use uh, a loop. 
So I'll call this um, what will I call it now? Somebody give me a name called nine. Is it Ken? <laughs> I don't have a so is it is containing a bill? That's great. So is is an array and the value of Ezekiel is this string plus a builder. And then of course you have to end the statement, it's an economy. You don't want to mess up with semi you don't want to mess with it. I you know what it does. Okay, so how do I, knowing that put ka, ka only put ka, well, okay, let's let's try, let's try to put ka is okay. Oh, if it works, then I've learned a new thing in my life. Right? This is the Ezekiel now is an array. So we are telling somebody, we are telling this guy, go and print, go and print what is inside array. We are going to try two things. First, we'll put ka Ezekiel, and secondly, we'll print F Ezekiel. Remember, print F, you put a string first. So what will be our string? Our string will be presented is S. We'll close the string and then give it the address and say go to Ezekiel and get that in. Go to a variable name Ezekiel. Inside the variable, you'll find this thing. And this thing is a string for is a string. Mm -hmm. I'm going to comment off line nine. So it's not active now, it's not a code now, it's a comment now. So it's not work. It's only like 10 that will work. Let's see whether or not. Sorry, work. I want to ask a question there. Right. Since it's an address, the ampersand, why is it? Why are you not putting that? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm the one using the word address. Maybe I should have said location or container. Okay. Right. Let me not confuse that for. Right. It's it's. Um, we are saying go to the container. To this container and get it. It is possible to use ampersand, but ampersand will be take. Oh, I'm supposed to be saying these things now. <laughs> Let me stop here. It's the location. Okay. The location. Let me not deviate what I'm doing. Right. You, you, you understood now. Yes, yes. Then format specifier. The, the thing will be printed in this format, and that thing is inside this container. Is it okay? Okay. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to um, I think I'm good to go and compile this code. And I'll be printed. So this is the one. Uh, let me call it. Uh, uh, that's it there. So I'm run it. Three so prints plus a bedroom. Sorry, I did not add the line after which that's why we have this like this. Look at it here printed plus a bedroom. But let me go back and add a line and it will compile. So I'm gonna go back before I And a line character here, backwards last and I'll save it. I will compile it and I will run it again. We print plus abiodon. But LS says do not use printf. Use a certain function that prints one character per time. Printf is very wonderful, though. very dynamic. If I wanted to print one character, let's say I wanted to print only plus. Ah, that will make me explain strings and index. I don't want to go there. Let's 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 just leave that. Or let me just do it. Don't ask me how, please. That's no happen. <laughs> and I go passage C, meaning character, no more string. Now print a character for me. And that character is in the index. Um let's see, index um three. Um, let me see. Someone else should have a knowledge of this. What does industry? What will industry print? 
Someone should have a letter. Someone should have a letter. D. B. B. A. B. 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 Okay, let's let me add a comment inside this. Uh, Ezekiel. I think you should print A. A. Is this? Somebody says you print it. Is it A or it? Let me know what I had. Did it say eight or eight? Did it say eight or eight? A, A, A. Okay, so okay. okay. And I don't want to explain this tonight, but let's just run it. So I'm going to run the code, okay? This time, let me change the output to testing. Let me see. So let me give you the name that, if I see it tomorrow, I understand. Index 3. Right? So I go. Look at it there, it's there. I'm gonna run it now. Ezekiel 3 is I. So who said I? The eyes have it. <laughs> I, I have it. Don't ask me what happened, please. Don't ask me what happened. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want to explain that tonight. Maybe, okay, maybe I should just explain it. Uh, it's, it's quite I think it'll help us. Yes, I, I want to look through. I want to look through it using Pucha. So this translation will help. Now, what happened here is that this guy you're seeing here are, are, are different characters held together as one entity, <laughs> one thing. And that thing is a string. Okay. But despite the fact that it's a string, the compiler still recognizes that it's made up of different elements. So this first one here, this first index, this is element at index zero. That plus is at index zero. So you count zero first, and then you count one. A is one. B is two. So I is three. So you have to go specify that I'm putting a character, not a string. Whereas if it was Pucha, Pucha is, is programmed to print a character. I don't need to start specifying. You just need to give it the character to print. And if you print it, if I want you to pick more than one character, then I have to create a loop. We are going there. Are you serious? Our main topic for the for tonight may take a little time because uh, I, I, leave I have a question. Uh, already. I've not gone far enough for you to start. Okay, go ahead. Mm, it's just um, um why you use that bracket after that is Where is the bracket after Ezekiel? Okay, the, this one. Uh, you can look at it. Yes. Yeah. This is how uh, this array of characters this is how a string is de declared. An array actually okay. is declared. Array. Okay. Right? Okay. Now the reason why I didn't put this in here, I should have specified that I have um one two three four five six seven eight one other zero one two three four five six seven plus no character no byte oh lord i didn't want to come here i didn't want to come here <laughs> okay i should have specified that i have you can number of characters here one two three four five six seven eight and write eight here but okay. because the compiler can count it it will automatically know that it is eight elements I have there. Okay. Okay. Right? But it counts from zero because the eighth one is not this N. There's something there that is the eighth character. Let's not go into that. It's called a no byte. Just in case okay. you can't like that, or in case you come across it after this class. The no byte. Because after this class, if you go back to read it, you should flow better. You should understand better. Okay. Mm. So it counts zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the eight will be no byte. 
that shows that okay. string. So if I say print uh, uh, Ezekiel 7, print the seventh element, the, the, the element at index 7. Of course, the element at, at index 7 is the eight element. So uh, let me change this to index 7 is this and compile. This time, I will call the result index 7. So you did compile, look at it, I like to show you before I, before I run it. So index 7. That's not, sorry, I didn't spell it. This in word, index 7. So it tells you index 7 is N, which is the last step. Okay. 7 is N. Let me run that. I'm going to clear my screen, run it again, and show you something. Um, show you the file. Cut. Uh, what is that file again now? One. So look at it now. In the seven, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in the seven is and I think what I'm changing is not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not I think it's needed for you to understand this looking of eighteen. Yeah, I think it's needed. I wanted to skip it, but I'm gonna change it. Okay. I haven't known that. How then do we now use Pucha to achieve this thing? Let's let's do some funny thing. Yeah, I still have place. We we'll call it here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that push would you like me to have all these files separately or because i'm i'm actually i'm authoring i'm authoring anyway you're part of the class one you can call it see the video again okay what will happen if not comment of this slide let me take the what it's let me leave it like this the content. Okay. We want to print uh, plus I've to screen. So let me upload this in plus I've got so uh percentage S and then a new line. And then when we remove this square bracket, we means we are we are not addressing it to a particular I guess again we are asking are we addressing it to the okay, we are pointing it to the location. We are telling we are we are we are we are Moving, we are channeling this person, this person that has the location to to every content of this container. Okay. Whereas when we specify using the square bracket, we are telling the particular uh, index to print what is there. So I'm going to comment this out and leave this one. So what to do something we do with F now? Let's see what will happen. So I'm going to save. I'll try to compile it and the outcome. Let me name it outcome. What do you think will happen? Let's see. Whoa, plenty of complaint. Plenty of complaint. Passing argument one of Pucha makes integer from pointer without a cast. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Let's not go to the new grammar now. And what, 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 what? Expected int from my demo. You can put int. Pucha. Pucha is not a friend of int. Pucha is for car. Okay. It's how that, how that, that did not work. So what do we rather do? Okay, let's try this. See what happens. This is the point where I like a uh, hold on. I like to be writing and be compiling the same time. So if I do in max this 
Yeah, okay, so I want I don't want to close this Emacs again. I want to have it here, yeah, so I will be here while I'm compiling my code and show you the results. Okay, so uh, I wanted to do something. What will happen if we say that go and go and take a particular character, the one at index zero, index zero is plus. You agree with me? In that particular character, what will happen? So I'm going to save it and I'm going to go to this place. Uh, come on, study. Oh, there's no way I can really go to set. Okay, where is this one? It's possible. What's that? What is blue? Selling money. How many hours have you spent there already? Isabel? Mm, hold on a minute. How many? Uh, we spent one hour 38 minutes. What about you cool over the one hour? That's strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let you. I think is you're using Vagrant, uh, you're using virtual box, you know, so it will chop more of your battery. But I'm using virtual box for this one. And you are you are working you are working inside your windows now. You are using the virtual machine as well, so it will chop the battery. Let me connect. I'm gonna see how oh, I have some work to do tonight. Are you charging or not? Please hold on, let me make sure I'm charging. Right. Okay, so um, I want to compile the file again. Um, I'm going to call this one um, outcome. I think I wanted to so it compiled. Look at it there. Outcome, the last one. So let me run outcome. Outcome runs, it run, it run plus, it did not print a new line. It did not print a new line. So for me to print a new line, you are seeing that it, 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 is, it was not able to go and print what is in the string, right? Please look at it very well. There's a plus here. That plus is the product of our program. If you wanted to make a new line, you have to go back to the program and put another call another put another put car or put char, like to call it put char. And ask and give it a new line character and say print a new line as well. After printing this put a new line. Then enter a semicolon. We we'll save this, go back to this code, run that again, and then run the file. So that it now plus. But if I wanted just to be just to make you to be sure, let's go and print Ezekiel seven like we did before. He would did with print we print it, we print it, we print it Ezekiel three um, before. Uh, let me copy this to C X bar C E alternate W and uh, is CY. Right. So let's call this seven. Yeah. Ezekiel seven. But the code that we printed Ezekiel three and it was I. We printed Ezekiel seven and it, Ezekiel seven and it was N. Now let's what happened. I've not given it any delay, but this piece. So we are expecting I N. 
shall we go and compile again and I run it again so you can see I end here it does not ask you to put any space if you ask me ever just put one space in between or put enter or put no line you see well so if I wanted a space in between I need to put another particular to say print space after I end after I or I can I need to put another picture here to say print space after I or put a line after I and put in the next line. That's picture for you. And that was what they said you should use to print one was on a scopucha. Yes, on a scopucha. Right. So if you understand how I did it with possibility, you should be able to do it with different patterns. I, I did it a particular style, you know, with bringing plenty of butcher. But let's see how we use only two butcher to get this done. What will help us is a loop. The loop will help us. What kind of loop? It's your choice. You look at the situation, circumstance, and look at what you want to do. And then you know the kind of loop that will help you. And don't really ask me now when you start using loops. You start understanding that certain loops are more more appropriate for certain circumstances than the others, right? So here we go. I want to I want to print plus build with butcher. What do I do? I will just do it first and then come and explain what happened. Mm. So let me comment this off. Okay, I think I should take the off. So I don't confuse anybody. So I'm taking the off. off. I hope you don't mind. Okay, I think I need this one. I need to put you as I'm taking this one off. That's not needed. So that somebody will know that. Hello, uh, Topma. Yes. Yes. Please, I want to make a comment, maybe to actually see whether I actually get the concepts correctly. Okay. So, like, this int main void. So it's, it's always the standard for every C program we wants to write, Abby. Uh, the pattern. The pattern. Okay, but, okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Every main program I will write, yes. Int main right. boy. But there are three, there are three of the, you will learn, you will learn about it later. There are three prototypes like this, not only this one. Okay. So, so why will... this? Uh, Ezekiel and this. So we are declaring our uh, data type. Yeah, the variable name, name. And, and we have also initialized here, Abby. Do we call it initialization? Yes, you have. Declaring? Yes, because you have you have given it a value, so you have initialized it. Okay. So we did not declare at this point. What? I said we did not declare at this point. We declared and initialized. Something. Okay. All right. All together. All right. Okay. So I, I drop it now. I drop it now. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Okay. So I'm looking for how to get this guy done. Maybe I should take it off for so you see step by step what I'm doing. So I come here and I create a for loop. I say for. First, I need to declare a variable that I, I, of that int that we use to look through this. I don't know what is wrong with you. Okay, so this is it. I'm declaring a variable here. Int anything, anything, but usually we use. I to signify index, or you can spell index. So for index, I am initializing index inside here. I'm giving it an initial value. That's what initializing me, giving an initial value, giving the first value, the value we didn't get before. We didn't say that before because things could change in the course of the program. So I say this index equals zero. Then say uh, as long as index uh, is lesser or uh, equal to 
measure right here now. I'm using the length of this string. So I'll say, let me just say this done. It's mm, mm, increment index. That's what that plus plus means. Increment, yeah. that means keep adding one, keep adding plus and adding one, 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 one. So now um, I don't. I want to uh, put my curly brace. Of course, when I'm putting only one line after the for loop, you may not need the curly brace. Even better, we allow you. Uh, but just get used to doing it. Especially when you're writing a small program like this. Uh, but when you're writing bucket program, you don't want to lay yourself yourself in that. Okay, so I've given it a condition. Say so if this condition is true, this is what you do for me. Put char. Is it uh, I? Oh, is it index or that? Mm -hmm. And the statement. And after current other auction, come here and put a new line. Now, what I'm going to explain what happens. What happened there? Or what happens here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put a new line for me. You usually use a single quote when you want to put the character directly. If it's the variable that you don't need the single quote, you no, know, put a double quote here is single quote and the single character inside a single quote. So the reason I am not using single quote for Ezika is because Ezika is not the character, Ezika is the variable containing uh, each of the characters that. Uh, uh, which I will look through to print the standard output in this day's product here. To, to okay, so and the same. 914. 914, thank you. Okay, so it's saved now. Let's see what happens. If I start explaining what happened there, let's see that program will work. So GCC one for loop. Let's see. And I want to name it um, using butcher. Okay, let me use the camera case. Oh, back camera case using. Oh, the guy compiled with that error. Come on, don't do that. Don't hide my code. I just clear your screen now. I like my code, I like my codes all being reviewed. Shouldn't be hiding it. And serious sorry what on me is this is this you and your big test though you and uh the greasy on screen i'm not used to this kind of big yeah, big fonts okay at least you can see the what is the last thing on my screen the last night so you, you can see that that i have using picture here this picture is here so it works i'm playing my screen right now so i'm running using picture Wow, so he printed plus a builder for us. This is Pucha. You know, we did Pucha, Pucha, unders, Pucha plus, Pucha A, Pucha B, Pucha, uh, what, 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 I mean. Another way we would have done this is to come here and uh, if to do Pucha first and give it plus of course we put single quote in each plus semicolon to make up this if you are in my previous class or in my last class i, I did this there how do i begin country x oh country b no 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 country e. a w 
All right, so I'll come here again. I'll put your E. Fabiano, I'll come here again. I'll put your uh, B. You know that way I keep doing it until I get to end. And now when I get to end, I will not put your new line again. But I didn't have to do that. Yeah. I didn't have to do that. Okay. Why? Because I used to loop. What is loop? If you know if you if you love music and you know loop in music, then you know loop. Just loop repeating repeated process, repeated uh, uh, process, events, repeated repeated phrase. Once you repeat, you're looping, you're looping, you're looping. So what happened there? Let me try to explain that. Uh, what happened there was, I took this guy, I gave this guy a value mm. called index, and said so that index is equal to zero. Right? And I said, okay, maybe I should go to my board. Uh, I'm going to copy this. Particular place. Note that line 14 that you're seeing is not part of the loop. Don't forget that. Line 14 is not part of the loop. The loop is everything inside that curly brace. Come on. Take me to my whiteboard. So I'm opening a new web board. Uh, space, brother. And I'm um, pasting this. Yeah. So I'll explain what happened. What is this? Okay, I can't copy from my virtual machine to my Windows. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. It does not work. Nah. Maybe I should go ahead and then it's say here. Mm -hmm. Open another browser here. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should do so. I need to open another browser and then open the whiteboard. Sorry, uh, I think it's necessary. And then I can place my copy from here. So long. Like the brother is loading. I have a question why it's loading. Okay. Go ahead. So um we use int index. So why do we use that int there? Can we still use other data type there? Okay. Or it's just a default star? Okay, I will explain that. <laughs> this one is the right side for this guy. Is it just, just type whiteboard. Uh, um... Type of whiteboard it should be pointed to the place to the right place of Google. Google, I'm coming. I want Google in particular. And I once you type whiteboard, I think the first, the very first link should be about Google, it should be Google Zoom. It's not it, oh. I'm coming, let me just, let me help you with the, the link. Why? Google.jambo.com. What? How come I don't know? Jambo.google.com. Jambo.google.com. What's that what I need for? Not sure. Okay, I need C-O-N, it's not C-O-M. 
No, I know. Okay, so let's go there. Mm. What's my password again? <sighs> Sure, Come. Are you sure of my password? <laughs> this like Show password, or show password to be sure. <laughs> are you are you the bug guy? You said the bug password. <laughs> okay, I see I have some from my board. Yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting. I like opening plenty of board. Let's continue with this one. Oh, uh -huh, so. Load, 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 don't just let me. Okay. Okay, so I'm making progress. Making progress. I'm gonna try to paste what I copied earlier. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll make it sure. So this is what I copied earlier. I'm trying to explain what actually happened. What actually happened. So what happened is this. Someone was asking, could it be, why was it car? Why was it not? I, it has to be integer because we want to count to, maybe I should copy the entire program. I think I should copy the entire program. And A max, A max, A max, A max. Let me copy the entire program over here. From line three to line seventeen. Um, so take this one off. Okay, this is the program now. This is the code. <laughs> You're asking whether this could be any other data type. The answer is no, because of what we want to do with it. That is only done with integers. What we want to do with it, with it was that we want to look through these things, we want to be able to count through these things with it. I think you may understand better when I start explaining what happened in the following. Because of what we want to do with it, it has to be an integer. Because I'm working with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm working with this kind of numbers, I'm working with integers. And that's why it's zero. You cannot go and declare the clear car here and be giving it zero. That would be very funny. Hmm. You cannot go and declare a float here and be giving okay. it zero point zero. You get someone say something? Hmm. You get uh, because it's like this is where I'm confused. Um because I'm looking at since what we want to produce is Plus Abiodun, and I'm saying, uh, uh, what's it called now? As a character. So I'm using int here now. I see int maybe as a whole number. So why is it, why are we using int there? And what we want to produce out or we want to print out is, is character. Okay. So now you understand, right? I don't know whether you grab me. Uh, I grab you, but you, you now understand, right? Do you now uh, understand? Yes, I understand. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, I want to take a break. Let me hear. We, you, you know, you don't talk to you. I don't say hi. Yeah, they've gone to bed, though. They've gone to sleep. It's not true, let's say. Not sleep, like okay. <laughs> Hello, sleep, okay. Can anyone hear me? You got a day. Who do you hear me? I'm having a problem. 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 Don't worry, let's let's go back to the lessons. Do you record it? <laughs> that was just a short break. <laughs>
Okay, so what happened to this problem is that I have declared the variable integer to look through it, to look through the content, the individual content, individual element, that's what actually the element of this string at each index position. So and it is such that um, don't forget this that at index zero. Well is it one with a zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh -huh. My mother said, Miss Baby. Mr. Bello. It's your fault. It is none of my fault. I have no hand in it. I have nine evil men. <laughs> so this is our print. This plus is at in the zero. A is at in the one. B here. Yeah. I. O. This is in any way. Ought to arrive perfectly well. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, beyond do, D is here, U is here. And then remember, we've always had a seven, N. Sorry, N. And then here we have one funny thing that looks like this. Backward slash zero. Uh, it's called a no, a no byte. Just know that. Okay. And then Anna assigned a young man. It's a young man. Yes, a young man called index and gave it an initial value of zero. You know what happened, you know what that means. And I told you that so long as it's less than seven, it's less than eight. Keep incrementing it. Don't worry, I will. I will explain that better in a while. And then I'll let us go and sleep. Okay. So this is index. This uh, instruction here means that index has an initial value of O. This one means that the compiler should check to see that the number of index, whatever the value is, is less than it. It must not be more than it. It must not be up to it. And this instruction uh, here, increment, means that it should keep adding one. It should keep adding one. Let me label it. Increment. Ah, my mouse is not even for the mouse that I'm managing. Increment. Increment. I hope I spell it well. Increment. Six one. Here, yeah. uh, increase increment. I'm not sure again. But at least you know what I mean. That means increase it by one. Keep adding one to it. That means at this point is zero. Check if if as long as it's zero, it is zero and it's less than eight. Go and do this thing. Come back and check again. And come, then increment it. Come back and check again. Let me take that slowly. More slowly. Since you've put this for loop, you've put, you've asked it to put Ezekiel index. So at this initial point, Ezekiel index was Ezekiel zero. Remember what happened when we were printing 
Uh, oh, thank God I did that. I didn't plan to do it, but I did it. Thank God I did it. It's not easier to um, illustrate this thing. Remember how we use Pucha to print a particular character at Ezekiel 3 and at Ezekiel 7. So at this point, index is zero. We will say Ezekiel index. This index will be replaced by this zero. So it will now go and print what is at zero. And what is at zero is plus. It will print it out. Then the loop, it, this, it will stay inside this loop. It will not go to this next line. It will not go here and do anything. It will still continue in this loop until the condition has been satisfied, until the condition is not met again. So what I mean is that after printing is equal zero, it will go here and see this instruction. It will not add one. Here now will not turn to one. It shall become one. When is one, it's not going to print Ezekiel one. Ezekiel one is a. We print Ezekiel one, it will come here again and add. Right? And each time it is checking whether anything is less than eight. When it adds, here will become two. I wish if my mouse was flowing, I would have been changing the values I'm talking. Here will become two. Now I'm teaching you, you're you you grabbing it in an after. Okay, so it should not come here and go and print Ezekiel 2. And Ezekiel 2, remember the index is increasing, you know, it decreases to 2. And then what it will see at 2 is B, it will print the B. It will not increment the game, here we become 3. It will check, is 3 less than 8? Yes, 3 is less than 8. It will go into the loop again. And now print Ezekiel 3, which is I. When it prints I, it will increment the game, it will add the thing. Here will now become four. It will check is four less than eight. Four is less than eight. It will print is equal four. Is equal four. Here is a biodo. It will come again and increment it and go. Here will become five. Index equal to five. It will check index is in, index here is five now. Five is five less than eight. Yes, five is less than eight. It will still continue kind of this instruction. It will print is equal five. This index is now five. And then what is at in this in this five is D. It will continue until it gets to seven. When it gets to seven, is seven less than eight? Yes. So it will print is it seven, which is N. Then it will increment again to eight. Here it will become eight. When it gets to this point, when it gets to this point, you say it's eight less than eight. No, eight is not less than eight. It's actually equal to eight. So because eight is not less than eight, it will break out of this loop and go to, go to execute the instruction, instruction in the next line, which is print a new line. So it has finished printing all these things now. It will not print a new line. And return zero. That was how we had that result that we had. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I have a question. Okay. Ask so um, I perfectly understood this now. I perfectly understood it. But my question is this. Now, this index um, um, has done to zero. Now, is it possible for me not to use as time to zero? Can I just use maybe uh, maybe two? And if I'm too used to, does it mean it will start the looping from that two? Let me answer that question practically. Okay. Now, not something. I've changed something here, but I've not changed here. From two to eight is okay. six, right? Correct. Yes. You yes. Do it will have six mm. numbers. Yes. See what will happen. That is it now. Okay. So I'm going to compile it again. This time I'll call it the. Uh... Whoa! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. See my mouse. Oh. <laughs> no be mute. No comment. No comment. No be mute. I want to get an external mouse. Stop suffering all these Um, Let me call it zero to 
two. Um, okay, change. Index oh. Index as two. Index from two. Index two is fine. Index two is fine. What's up? The comments that you have below. The comments you have below is not ended. Oh. So go ya debuggers. We stay up with our debugging assignments. What is happening? My terminal has frozen. Right now. The my the cursor is blinking now, so. Seems that's fine. working. That's working. Okay. Unplug your system for a while. It couldn't be. Or just uh. Yeah, I mean, close it and yeah, exactly. Okay, I think you have one open before. Right. Okay. Um, I was about to GCC this. Uh, about to call it index two. Mars, God bless you. You not say. I tell. I'm not sure if you saved this or. Is it saved? I'm not sure myself. Let me save again. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't saved before. Save now. Okay, so we are doing what is it now? Index two. Index two. Beyond Doom. Okay. All right. Beyond Doom. All right. So what happened? What happened? Uh, it uh, started okay. from. Okay. Oh, do you want me to answer it? Yes, answer. Okay. It started the looping. That it started the counting. That is after A. After A. That's where it started the counting from. Mm -hmm. So what index number is that actually? Uh, index zero, index one, that's index two. You are correct. Are you sure you are correct? Yes, very correct. So you have answered your question by yourself. Yes, thank, thank you. you, sir. Mm. Any more questions? No, no, not you. Uh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, if probably now, I think this is that's index greater than eight. Yes. That we wrote in is determinant of this number of character we have in this our string. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. If that that means we we cannot always increase the number we are having at this age at this position age. We mm -hmm. we 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 cannot always increase this in as much as it's not yeah. the same as this string. Am I correct or? Come again, you cannot always increase it. Uh, probably now, let's say the, the character inside this string is five. Yeah. The character inside this string is five. Now, and I decided to use eight here. Will this thing work that way? Let's find out. Okay, all right. Time to find out. In fact, find out by yourself. Uh, I will do one. that. I will do that. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Yeah. So, at times like this question starts arising from your mind. Get your system, start to find it out. Okay, so please. All right. No. Top man. Like fight. Top man. Yeah. Top man. Yes, sir. I yeah, I have a question. 
Yes, yes. I have a question to ask. <clears throat> ask. Yeah, can you just throw more light on So, uh, Okay. That has to be a single quote. So if I give this variable a value now, it will print that a value that's inside the variable. Right? You want to try that, try it on your own. And then, so if I want to print A, all I need to do is put this in like this. Even though there's a variable called A, it, it will not take it to be that variable. It will know that this is A. I'm asking it to print A. Now, let me uh, run that again. Uh, compile that and run it again. Look at A on the screen now. So you can either you may you may want to use as the as type value to print this A as well. I come here and say A is supposed to be like the seven, right? Uh, check your as type value is going to show now. Mm, let's say print minus seven. So let's not encounter A in that case. Compile run the script why it prints a what is yes 97 is pretty a why because 97 is the axi value or ascii value whatever you call it a s c i i value for a so i could put it there but like a single quote because i'm not talking about it already i'm talking about something and it means something and it contains it means something other than 91. if i want to put 97 i just need to put inside this put 97 a, would this work? Let's try. Seven. Let me see what you correct that seven has the character. Aha! She didn't agree. She didn't agree. Don't mind me. Let's see what it's because I gave it to. Ah, I compared to. Yeah, go on. Okay, because we are two. Mm. Now it's printing now as a character. Okay. I just, I just learned this one now. You see? I thought I was coming to teach. I didn't know. Um, um, zero to nine is actually representing the ASCII for characters as well. They are symbols. Okay. Yeah. They are symbols. Yes, symbols of characters. So. Mm. All right. Okay. Making progress. Now, back to your first question. Why, why do we have index inside Ezekiel? So, so uh, Topman, before you go, so whenever I'm using put car yes. to print a character, I must include a single quote. Yes. Okay. That character must be inside a single quote. Except the character is stored in a variable. I want to print okay. the you want to call the variable instead, or you're using the ASCII value. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the first question now. All right, so why do I have index inside Ezekiel? That's like asking me uh, why do I have. Uh, um, let me copy this. Uh, control F, F, Control K, Control Y, Control, Control E, Control, Control Y. Okay. Please don't be confused. There are, there are um, comments. Uh, there are 
codes uh, line line 11 12 13 and 15 they're not comments so the compiler will not see them as code so that's like asking me that why do i put why did i put something like this remember that this is supposed to give us what now your, your mic is muted right what is it supposed to give us to give us i oh. i right but i i didn't come i didn't put yes. that bracket So I compile and then I run y i zero. Okay. <laughs> I say zero down here yeah, at line 17. So it's between the zero. Yeah, line 17. Let me take it off. Okay, so I'm gonna run compile again and run it. So it's giving us i. Now index haven't been declared here given a value is is now a variable and so look at it is a variable we declare it as a variable don't forget it's an integer a variable so where does it work we put it inside here to represent the numbers so right there it is here it is equal to zero this is as good as saying is equal to zero because it was zero here let me take this back to zero so when it, when it is zero, yeah, this this index becomes indicate zero. So it is also count because it is equal zero, which we print uh, plus. So it goes here and increments. Here will now become one. This place will now become one. It will check, and this place now will not be index again. This place will be one. Is one less than eight? Yes, one is less than eight. It will go here and also increment this one to one and print it. And what you're going to have in the screen is uh, a because a is because it's moving. What well, I showed you here is moving. It keeps moving as, it is, as it's incrementing. It's changing position. When it's at one, it targets the element as in, at index one. When it, when it is at two, it targets the index as element two. So this index is inside here because we want to be able to uh, assess each of the elements. And as the as the index increases, we are assessing the elements at each index. So when it increments, here becomes two. The condition we give in that index must be less than eight. So here at this point, index is still less than eight it will go here and increment this one to to two and then it will give us what we have at index two let me compile this and then run it what we have as index two is b number it is zero one two zero for the plus the a is at one the b is at two so we have this b here Okay, so it continues until it gets to index seven. When it increments to index seven, the condition is still true. Seven is still less than eight. So it will take here what you have here in line 13. Remember, I'm using that 14 to illustrate what happens in line 13. Here will become seven. And once when it's seven, what does it do? It will go and print what the element at index seven which is n the one after that it will not increment to eight here we increment to eight as well but it goes here is eight less than eight no since eight is eight is not less than eight it will not break out of this loop and go and print what we have at line 17 it will continue and what we have at line 17 is print a new line you then print a new line That's our habit here, is representing the count. So you're not seeing what, what is here now is no more in this. What is here is what you, the initial value you give to it. Zero. It's just because as index keeps incrementing the, 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 the actual meaning of this uh, right up here, plus plus, as it keeps incre incrementing by one, adding one, adding one. This one, what you have here will be adding one, adding one, adding one. Whereas if you have a particular number there, that number will not increase. We need a variable to be able to increment the index and loop through each character 
No, I put your prints one at a time. But now Pucha is able to print a string because looking through each character and having them all printed out one after the other. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any more questions? Mm, Talkman, want to ask a question? Not about this program. Like we've been able to see that we can use a loop to trace to through an array. Now I want to say, can we use a loop to like in other ways apart from using it in an array? Maybe to execute a statement for it to repeat itself just like you said for a music if you use a loop for a music the music will keep repeating repeating now let's say for a statement can we use the same loop to make a statement keep repeating itself maybe we said okay we'll print something like i love using loops or i love coding on the console can we use a loop to repeat that statement multiple times yes 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 Possible. Mm. Word loop. All right, quote nine. Life exercise. I want the statement. I'm going to declare. I want to a value to print. Uh, let me make it easier for you. Use F. Use print F. Yeah, I love use print F. I want uh, plus a value to print. To print five times. This is, this is your next step to go. I want to print to print five times. What do you think we should do? I don't know if I'm already feeling so tired, man. We are, I don't want to say something because you are digging. We are we are in a live call. A, a, a live call is being recorded. So I don't want to say certain things. I mean, if I tell you what I went top one. <laughs> yes. Go ahead, please. Okay, uh, we can actually tell you what to do here now instead of consigning the exercise. You I want, if you want to present, you are free, but I want to tell you what to do. But if you want to present, you are free. We are not presenting, no, but we can. <laughs> I'll go <guard> it all. <laughs> okay. Cut. My mouse. I love my mouse. Yeah, talk to me now, so I'll be working. You I, said, I uh, a... what is the question? What is the question again? I want to print uh, Mr. Ayolo four times. Uh, the, sorry, plus I've been four times. This thing we have there, I want to print it four times. Can I try? Who is trying? What's your name, please? Sorry, I'm not seeing. What's your name, please? Sorry, Paul. Paul. Adani. Paul. Adani. Yeah. I am the only one who's mic is causing now. I am the only one who's mic is causing now. Okay, talk to us. Talk to us. Okay, now you go to your phone. Okay, what's that to follow? What's that to follow? Uh, well, first of all, um, initialize and int and int a equals to zero. Int a, int a. Please hold on. Let yes. me see hold on. Okay, okay, wait. Let me save this program. Okay, okay, let okay. Let, program let me save this program. Okay, put a new file. Save this program and put a new file. I love my mouse. I still love my mouse. Hey, Mara Power. Okay.
Don't take that. Oh, you're asleep. Okay. Mm. Okay. Contact this thing where it's that um, we stop touching it. Everything's okay, right? No. <laughs> Is everything okay with this program? I'll come back to you. What about that? So I'm creating a new program. Uh, I'll call it two. Uh, let me call it next time. Look. The declaration of uh, A in line nine is is not being used. So oh. remove it. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's cool now. Even this ATI is not being needed. Okay, so we're creating a new file. To nested loop. Let's see. Okay, so this is a new file now, and I'm going to still declare that variable. So this is a program that prints. Hope you are getting ready, or I'm getting ready for you. All right. Uh, so let me do with this one now. I believe that's what they're going to use us. Yeah, I'm coming. Okay, so okay, so, so uh, we are this point now. We are this point now. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what do I do now? Is it here? Oh, it is here. What? What? It is here. I didn't get that. I didn't get that. It is here. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because the plus are building. Okay. Is it here? Okay. Is it you got to plus a I'm the other ice I'm the other ice cream. Oh, sorry. Put a double code first. A double code first. Double code first. A double. Double. No. <laughs> this is more. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Then at the end, too. At the end, what? At the end, what? Yeah. Then to the next one. Inshallah, under integer. Integer A. Okay. Then next one. Four. Oh yes, semicolon. Thanks. Semicolon. 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 Semicolon.
First two lines. First two lines. First two lines. No, not first two lines. <laughs> okay, my one is six and seven. Six, six. Um, seven, seven. Okay, okay. Number three, four. Space open bracket. Space, space. Okay. Yes. Okay. I, I, sorry, I. A, A. Equals zero. Is it comma or comma or? No, so you can. Yeah. A less than four. Semicolon. A plus plus. Why did you say? Why did you say less than four? So that you print it four times, starting from zero. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me show you something. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. What? 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 Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to look at the gender, gender condition. It is, it is. I'll make it seven, it's seven. So let's try to, let's try to yeah. compile it again. Okay, let me leave it to be eight. Let me leave it to be eight of the house. So this, this, I'm running, I'm running. So you stick this on the same result? Yes. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go back to our file. Back to our file. Okay. Okay. Uh, next line. Open curly brace. Then print F. Open brackets. Double code symbol. Then format specifier for string. Which is which is percentage S T R slash nine percent S. Oh, percentage S. Ah, they love you. They love you. Slash N. Then close double quotes. Another double quote there. Comma. Space. Then Ezekiel. Close bracket. Next line. And close curly brace. So why the why is the curly brace on the same line? Why the why is the curly brace on the same line? What do you say? The curly brace is supposed to go or the curly brace is supposed to go automatically. <laughs> why is it not there? Why is it not there? It's supposed to go automatically this way. The same line with this first one. The same line with this first one. Oh. Why? Why? I don't know. I know there was a space in there earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, take it to the back. Huh? Yes, run. Does anyone want to tell us? Anyone want to tell us what needs to be corrected in this program? Corrected in this program. If you are fast enough, you are fast enough to do this after this, 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 after
Okay. So I want to talk to us. What is what is to be corrected here? Thank you for putting on the mic. What is to be corrected corrected here? So can you show the program? Okay, the program is here. According to the back of that print function. At the back. Ah, you're a software engineer now. I see back of. <laughs> at the end, at the end. <laughs> at the end. <laughs> All right, so this should now go here. I don't like the name I gave it. It's not nested, so I'm not calling it nested. I'm changing the name. To loop. I still call it for loop. So, uh, I'll do that. So, I want to run it now, right? You guys see it's okay. Nobody's seen anything. Debug now, debug. You're complaining about debugging. So what's debug this code now? The compiler start complaining. Code now, debug your code. It's not compiling. What does it say? That should be percentage. That's percentage. You don't debug your code, we end here. I zoom. Can you zoom, please? Zoom zoom? In. Uh, uh, sorry, top man, top man. Yes, yeah. Okay. Character, we are not, we do not declare. Your Ezekiel should have, your Ezekiel should have a, an array in front. An array in front? What is an array? Sorry, you should have a colon, um, square bracket. You have a square bracket, yeah, square bracket. Okay. Let's now. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Um, are we running the correct file? Are we compiling the correct file? Yes. I thought yes. it was nested loop. I changed the name. Okay. I changed the name. Okay. Okay. I think, I think. We should escape. We should escape. We should escape. We should escape. But why is this? Why is this showing nested loop on the max? And the max, the max. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me do this. Do this. Okay. I did not close the program to check what is happening. That's how it's showing here. Perfect. Uh, whatever I do. Okay. Let me just close it up. Reopen. So, um, so I want to make my comments. Right. I'm looking at appear do now is now a character, not in terms of digits now. So, so I think we should change that uh, data type we use, maybe to car. Okay, this is what I kept for the two minutes. Yeah, sorry. No, 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 I don't want to send. I don't want to send. Actually, that actually was not happening to me. Talk now. Did you have to change it? Uh, I mean, at this our uh, initialization of A. I okay. mean, in our declare uh, that A, uh, at that place. Line number one? Seven. Okay. 
Je, je vais Karata. Yes. Yes. No, that, that you, that you. No, no, that should be it. That's not the main problem. So what is the problem now? What the according to the error we have here, according to the error, it's complaining about Abiodo. And I think that's because we have plus. And plus happens to be a character. Or oh, let me say we need a step character for that additional side that is there. No now, guys. See Ezeke now. Ezeke is say we want to print Abiodo. That int should be card. Should be card. C H A. Mr. Top uh, change that integer to character. Line number line six. Do you agree with him? No, I think line seven should be the best. Anyhow, yeah, sure. let's be let's try the two. Let's try. Okay, <laughs> don't problem. Okay, six of seven, I mean. Uh, <laughs> you are debugging, you are debugging. Yes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna clear the screen and then I'm gonna try to long, run it again. Uh, what would I call it this time? Mm. Mm. Volume two. Volume two. Okay. Volume two. Ah, sorry. That's my own this is time. I use zero zero of O. Okay, so you compile now and that error. All of you is there. Let's run and see. <laughs> Debugging. Confirm. All right. But you want to print it five times. This is four times. Four times, actually. Okay, four, okay. It's there in the comment. All right. Okay, four. Good. Hmm. You're making progress. Yeah, that, was right. question, that was the question I asked that time. So I, I get the logic now. So I was able to... Recognize on time. Okay, let's do some nested loops. Do the same thing with Pucha. Right then? You said we just did now, I'll check it with Pucha. Uh, Pucha, Pucha, Pucha. <laughs> Mind you. Okay. I think. Excuse me, excuse me. This guy did not print for because he wrote for here. Uh, that it's not a counting from zero. Yes. So it's not add four. So it's zero, one, two, three that it took. Zero, one. Remember your task in LAS. The first one is only zero. Zero, one, two, three. That's what it took. Now, if you have said uh, less than or equal to four, you have repeated five times. Let me show you. Okay. Okay. I said it and then I come here and do it again and uh, run it one two three four five times you see for the sake of the program let me go back and take it to all right yeah. okay Sorry, uh, Rafa, please will there be a video for this um session yeah. Most, yes yes you recorded yeah i better oh. confirm please it is being recorded, but I lost our internet connection for like oh, 10 spirit. minutes in between. Whoa. Not, not up to 10 minutes, but like two minutes. Sure. I had to like, oh. uh, yeah, my Wi Fi oh, was off and I had to use yeah. my mobile spot. Okay, so that I need to put that person, that person, let me screenshot it. When the person has screenshot it, it's something you can just write now. Are you good? Yes. Thank you. Good. Mm. So, want to create another file? Oh, okay. Want to do the same thing now with Pucha? This same. Okay. Let me now. Let me create another file and call it nested loop. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to copy everything you have here and <laughs> put it in nested loops. So, um, we call this one three. Nested loops. Connected loop dot C. Here it is, and I'm gonna paste what I copy from there. 
but I'm going to take off the sky. A program that prints a string plus a value four times using Pucha. Putka, you know what you choose to call it. So here we go. Somebody talk to me. Stop, man. Please, what are you doing? What? What? You said you want to do something. What did you say you want to do? What do we do the same thing that we do? But this time, what do we do? What do we do the same thing that we do? What do we do the same thing that we do? I think we should just write put charm and put yeah. Ezekiel there. Ezekiel. <laughs> you are agree with him. Let go. Let go. No. Okay. Someone said no. Obi of Comfort Nine. Someone said no. Obi of Comfort Nine. Yeah. Talk to me. Talk to me. I think we should do. Each child and each character. So we're having eight pictures. So the first one is picture plus. I have eight pictures. I like that. Yes. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You have an array, you want to do, you have an array, you want to do the select. <laughs> you know what you mean? <laughs> okay, let me limit the condition. Let me limit the condition. Right? Right? Only two pictures are allowed. Only two pictures are allowed in this program. Only two pictures. Okay. 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 Then let's first go back to our four. So our four. Let's change to less than three. Less than three. Or less than two. Less than two. Less than two. Less than two. Why are you less than that? Why are you less than that? Why are you... Okay, we are still printing four times. I thought we're printing two times. Yes, leave it. Leave it. Leave it as four. Mm -hmm. So we do what now? program is 40 lines, 50 lines. You see what it takes for it. You see what it feels like for who say ah. Who said that? I just kind of 50 line program. So, <laughs> so Sokma, yes, let's give it a try. Put child, right. then open bracket Ezekiel, then we will put into square bracket A. Ah, is it like this? Yes. But the word next stage that told you that uh, something happened, and you you have seen that thing that happened. You've written codes like that, and you're get home, and you are checked, and you pass the checker. <laughs> uh, this is uh, yours. Okay. Uh, we'll call this one follow three of the next stage. Okay, no compliant. What do we do? Okay, sorry, my fault. I don't a kick care instead of a sick care. Nobody saw it. So my fault is our fault. So you compiled. That's it, yeah. Nested. Look, let me highlight it. Let's take the sound of it. Abby, 
Dos lajas. Sí, por un Please can we change that e? Please can we change that e to e? Which one? Which one? The e in the angular or in the rectangular bracket. Change to eight. Eight. Yes. Do 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 do. Someone else is Someone else is second. We are watching, we are watching. We do. Go on, we do. Go on, boss. Let's try. Go on, try. Go on, boss. Let's try. Let's try it. Then let's open another for loop. Another for loop. Another for loop. Yes. Mm. I want to know the follows idea. My idea. My idea has cut already. <laughs> <laughs> Now yeah, for this one, now also come before the Abi. For the one, for the one. Eh, after okay, take that for the. Let's 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 stop, guys. Let's let's stop. 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 I like to use I here. If I do anything strange, come on, attention. Because I believe by now you are so kind and love that nothing in this should be strange to you. You want to you want to watch these videos after now. So learn something too. Let me compile this. This is this is three and seven loops. Uh, let me call it testing. Okay, let me see what is the name. Instead loops. Right, so I run instead loop. Oh, I did not change this number. Okay, we need to increase the amount of loops. Are you are you catching inspiration now? Try to increase yes. the amount of loops. You want to tell me how to do it? I'm all ears. So you recall that this thing is printing, is able to print at the other. So the, your, your, this loop has to be nested inside a loop that will multiply your value. It has to be nested inside another loop that will multiply the plus at the other. How? How do I mean? That's it now, because I'm going to do. All you need to do is to put this entire loop inside another loop. This is representing everything you did inside of it, F. Everything from line 9 to line 12 is representing everything you did inside of it, F. Remember when you used with F. OK. So you now have to do a for loop that will house this guy. Everything will work well. Okay, that's enough hint. Can we do it now? Let's try. Oh, yeah, sorry, you said, sorry, you said, can you go right again? Okay, let me go right again. I said, this thing is doing what that your print F did. Remember, you did print F. Um, um, you open your string, remember, I think you did presented as and then you put one line and then and then you did what again you gave me the address easy curve 
And then, of course, you can do this make column. Let me comment this off. Okay. Let me do this off. So everything this guy did, apart from the new line, and the reason why I'm not going to have the new line inside because if you put this inside this loop, let me see, see yourself, see what is supposed to happen. It will become part of the loop. It will do as in you know, a loop repeated, what have you. It will repeat the same way all things are repeating. So I put it here. I now have it inside this loop. Let me save this. Let me compile it and run it. So it's not putting new line. After plus, it's putting new line. Because it's a loop. If you print this one, I print this one. If you go and check, if you print this one, I print this one. If everything inside the column brace will be happening multiple times to this thing. Is uh, this condition is met? This condition is not met, rather. But this condition no, is no more satisfied. So that's why we have it out here. That's why we don't have it inside the loop. So we have it outside here. Yeah? The loop. So that's the difference between what Sprint F is doing. Print F just you didn't need to look through the thing one one after the other. It just printed out this and printed out the line. Now, each time he did that, he was, he was a, uh, uh, okay, I think it's the same. That's not for it's the same. Everything here, from here to like 14, is what this guy is doing. That should not, that, I mean, it's, it's clear. Should I take it, do I need to run it inside the program? Do I need to off, comment this one's off and run it so you see that it's doing this, exactly the same thing? Yes, like, yes. Should, should I do that? No, it's doing the same thing. Okay, you are, we are familiar you are with right. printed already. We are familiar with printed. Okay, so it's doing exactly the same thing. There's nothing, there's no difference. Exactly the same thing. So all you need to do is the same way you push this guy inside a for loop. Go and put these guys inside the for loop. You put this guy inside the for loop to make you do this. This guy like inside the for loop to make you do this in for line. So put this guy inside the for loop. 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 Post. Post. Let me try. Let me try. Pick it back to so the first before the first for loop. Okay. So what do we do here? What do we do here? The line before the first four loop. Okay. Then eight. Okay. Then four. 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 Yes. Uh, Space open brackets. Okay. I equals zero. Semicolon I less than four. Semicolon I plus plus. Close brackets. The next line open curly brace. Then line on line fifteen. Close curly brace. Line 15, 15. Oh, yeah, no, line 16, 16. Are you sure? Are you sure? Mm. Should I try? Should I try? Should I, try? Should I run it? Yes, try. Yeah. Okay. Nobody's seen anything. Nobody's seen anything. What is wrong here? What's wrong here? All inside, all inside, all inside, all inside, all inside, all What? What? All, all. Four, four, yeah. seven, seven. Are you saying I should change, I should change something? Compile, no, compile. No, 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 I just, I just compile, compile first. <laughs> oh, you know, 
Kota Guan, Kota Guan. Why did it not work? Did you save the file? Okay, saved. So you see, just to be sure, why did it not work? So what do we do here? What do we do here? Okay. I said, use. Okay, Mac is not yet. You could tap and then come and say, let me do the conversation. Find the solution, though. Only for the bus, take it the whole time because of it. What it is causing, you know, functions. Let me take you the income, the income is. That's what has been happening here. That's what happening here. Sapa. Oh, Sapa was in between. You are hungry. I can get best. I can do this for free. I'm ready for you. Okay, maybe we should share another video. Let's go. Eight. 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 Okay. Then the first form where we have any way I is we just change to A. Is that all? Yes. Are you sure this will work? Then I'll send it to let's leave to let's just to be okay. Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm not sure. <laughs> You can go back, 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 you start with something that, although you see certain strange things, but you have a better understanding of what is happening at some point. In fact, it will be easier for somebody to explain to you and say, what is this? You see, you can tell somebody that, I, I don't understand this code. The for loop, the nested for loop is actually printing um, the content, I mean, each of the character of the string is it to the output. By the time you're working like this and you're asking for help, oh my God, I will drop my project and listen to you. <laughs> Because I will, I will, I'll be, I'll be clear to explain the thing. I don't, I don't even need to show you my screen to explain. I'm talking, you understand. You know, this is how we roll. It's not a, so I want to now, I want to now put the, the program in my, in my, in my terminal. So when I sample the thing, it now show, uh, with first eight, you're talking, I don't even know where to help you from. And I need to be editing the Google call, Google Meet for you to share your screen. Oh, and then I have to just to fight. I have other things. Ah, you know, so this is how you roll. Thank you so much for so much for time. For, Thank you, sir. For everything. For everything. Thank you. So I'm going to see videos again. Thank you. If you better someone, thank you. I'm going to see this call. So my people left, I don't know why. Maybe they were feeling sleepy. Or maybe because they know it was being recorded that they will watch later. I have about um, 14 persons here. Minus three. 11 persons here. Thank you for saying to this time. Any question before I leave for the video? Uh, how do we clear this question? You know, in our it's I and it's A. So, and we have 4A 
and four i. Yeah. So I'm looking at the arrangement. It doesn't it matter? Does it matter or not? Okay, do I arrange it? I think the man in the invitations, or do I arrange it? Uh, the you know we yeah, are sure. at our initialize. I mean our declaration. Okay. Uh, How will declare it? Hmm. It doesn't matter. Yes. It doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Why, why is that? Where is the? Where is the? It's that. If you must talk here now. They are night duty. I'm seeing former. I'm seeing. Um, Chopper, they are night duty. They are night duty. Night duty. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to talk, say something. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. Top man. Top man. Top man. Top man. I love you. I want to talk to females now. Yeah, is this a uh, sorry? Uh, just uh, one, uh, one last question. Just one last question. question sir, Dr. Sorry, top man. Now, no for the first four loop that we're having a less than four, yes. So, if you have in more than if you're having a less than eight now, it will print more than four times. If you want to turn that on your time now. Uh, it should it should print. It will, stick, it, should print. it will stick faster than it will stick better or longer than the words of my mouth right now. Okay. Another particular matter. Uh -huh. If I try to forget it, try it on your terminal and check out. It will not cause any harm in your system. Yeah. Right, so do practice this system your system, but don't I need to warn, don't go and delete what you did not create. Don't delete the direction or file that you did not create and practice. Create your own directory where you go to practice. I'm going to just practice. I'm going to push all these codes to uh, GitHub. Shut why? Shut why? Like I was speaking English on me. I will fix it now. That English is speaking. Oh, by that. So if you want to say something, go ahead, please. Come on, do you understand everything we did tonight? Yeah, I'll try, sir. Uh, so if, I English, if I have to share your screen, I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I practice, yeah? It's practice. It's constant practice. I know. I like that constant practice. Are you practicing constantly? I I try my best to climb on my Okay. Um, Shama, what about you? Any more? Any more? And then more. I don't jump out of the road. Please, you can stop recording, Mr. Bello. Bye, Jemma.